Give it up, Cash. There's no escape. I've escaped worse, Papa. Okay, boys, let him have it. I'm Martin Cash. To understand how I got here, you need to know a bit of history, and that starts back in Ireland. I was the son of a wealthy family, and at the age of 18, I met the love of my life, Mary. Things were going great, until that no good Jessup came along, making advances on my sweetheart, and we can't have that. I was only trying to protect her, but the law didn't see it that way and I was sentenced to seven years and penal transportation to the new colonies. For the next nine years, I worked off my debt as a stock rider and eventually became a free man. I settled in the Hunter Valley and started branding cattle with John Boodle. Soon after, I met Bessie. Things were great, and life was looking good again. Turns out, though, much of the cattle we'd been working on had been stolen, so to avoid complications but with the law, Bessie and I thought it best to skip town. Once in Hobart, I tried my hand at any honest job to make a living. Times got tough, and Bessie and I were accused of stealing from an employer. Law took a dim view, and sentenced us both to prison. <sighs> Feeling unfairly imprisoned, I managed to escape, but was swiftly captured, and 18 months was added to my sentence. Having resolved to not spend any more time in prison, Bessie and I broke out together and made our way towards Melbourne. We almost made it but were caught just short of the city. As a multiple escapee, my sentence was increased and I was moved to the notorious Port Arthur Prison. Port Arthur Prison was deemed to be escape proof with its isolated location, armed guards and prison dogs. Escape would not be easy, but with the help of Lawrence Kavanagh and George Jones, we did just that during a work outing. As wanted men, we lived as bushrangers and stole what we needed to survive. Eventually word reached us that my beloved Bessie had taken up with another man. Disguised as sailors, Kavanaugh and I went into town to kill them both. A notoriety, however, ensured that we were quickly recognised. Hey! And that basically is where you came. I'm here! I'll get him! Oh damn, run! <laughs> They've sentenced me to hang, but instead are sending me to Norfolk Island. It sounds nice, but don't be fooled. Norfolk Island is the worst prison in the English-speaking world. It's life sentences out here, and the guards or conditions don't have any issues of speeding that up. The days are long and slowly turn into weeks, months, and years. After 10 years I'm released as a trustee of the prison and settled down as a free man on Norfolk Island. Shortly after my release I met and married Mary. I was never in trouble with the law again and Mary and I had a lot of adventures, but that's another story. <laughs>